Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today is a very exciting video. Today is my updated 2022 handbag collection. I don't think I've done like a full bag collection video in a really, in a couple of years. Like two or three years ago, I went and sort of, sort of like a lull in my buying and I wanted to get to a place where I had some like new stuff to show you. There are definitely some bags in my collection that are mainstays and are going nowhere anytime soon, but I finally have some new additions. I remember the last time I did a count and it was at like 14. Little update here, uh, we're now at 22 or 23. Um, I don't know exactly how this happened, but here we are. Um, how has your collection changed over uh, over the past year and a half? Have you added items? Have you purged items? Um, what has your uh, the number of your collection looked like over the past year and a half? Definitely curious to know that. Comment that down below. By the way, stay tuned for a really exciting reveal from somewhere special. So this is one you guys should know and love from my collection. This is the Balenciaga Marble Ladis Tote. Um, this is the Zip Cartabla style, and I honestly, you don't see a ton of these out there on the market. One thing I love about um, a lot of the bags here in my collection wardrobe is that they're not ones that are just out there like that. This one is just big enough to fit a laptop. Uh, I don't carry it very often um, because it is very heavy and it doesn't really fit a lot, but it's just so beautiful and stunning. Speaking of weird and unique, uh, this is my Chanel hologram tote. I bought this one in 2021 from Rebag. This is just a pink little plastic um, holograph Chanel bag with the logo. There is a word for this type of material that has like two different um, two different prints or patterns on it. Um, but yeah, this is pink and orange. This is a bag from around like 2000 or 2001. It was really affordable and really different and cool and I just saw it and decided that I absolutely had to have it. Um, I will say that it's definitely more of like a collectible piece for me than actually like a bag that I wear and carry and you know add to outfits. Um, pink isn't really a huge color in my wardrobe. I just thought this one was super cool. It has these two shoulder straps in silver that are a little bit of an awkward length. Like this is not like shoulder tote territory for me. I think it's like honestly like a little bit awkward. So what I did was I added uh, this strap that I got from Etsy and it makes this crossbody. I just think that, you know, it was really a missed opportunity for this bag to A, have silver hardware. It just really didn't make sense considering like the color scheme and B, like to make it like just a little bit longer and to have one strap instead of two like really awkward sh shoulder ones. You know, one day in the future, I may actually commit and uh, take these silver straps off entirely because I just really don't like the sound that they make. It's like makes it too jingle jangly. Um, but I just think this is a cool bag. It was a great buy and uh, more of a collector's item than an actual like practical bag. I guess. Vintage Gucci and I clearly are, have some sort of like codependent relationship and I guess I'm just gonna be okay with that. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones. I got this one in 2021. Uh, this is a smooth leather like taupey color with lizard. Uh, this one also mixes metals and now I initially was thinking that this one is from the 70s but now I'm thinking it's probably like more early 80s. It's super cool. I love the leather. Um, this uh, this uh, turn clasp is really cool. It has Gucci printed right here. And um, while I can carry it as a clutch, there is a place to put uh, this strap as well. Uh, this one also is cool because it came with its original packaging. And I've never seen that before um, when shopping for vintage. When I don't think I have shown you guys this one on my channel yet, but this is from Brandon Blackwood. This is one of their ESR totes. You can see that it says uh, end systemic racism here uh, in silver hardware. Uh, this is a like sort of beige color, like um, beige colored canvas. And it's just a cute little mini. Um, I really like Brandon Blackwood. Uh, this is a, uh, he's a black owned uh, handbag designer. And I'm not calling it Ban Island necessarily, but I am going to be cooling my heels and adding more bags to my wardrobe. Uh, that's going to go out the window when the Brandon Blackwood uh, bamboo tote comes back up in stock because I'm buying that immediately. The minute I see it, it's mine. It comes with a crossbody strap. It has silver hardware and I think I will um, want to add other straps to this one as well. But another one of my signature bags, this is the Tom Ford Mini Jennifer in Mauve. Uh, so I bought this bag in 2015. This one happened to pop up on the real reel after we got in the larger size at work and I just 
fell in love with it completely. Um, I used and carried this bag for a really, really long time, uh, since 2015 actually, and uh, this is actually the second bag that I ever purchased myself. Um, to be very honest, don't I have not reached for this bag in the longest time. Um, I really, I do like it, but I find that now, at least in this moment, it's, it's like too small for me. Like before it was small and now I'm, I just find myself carrying more things. Uh, and this color is really hard for me to reach for. Uh, so I don't know what the future holds for me in this bag. I do still really love it. I do still love the color. I do, I do really think that the, the design and the, all the features of it are just fantastic. Um, but I just... To be honest, I haven't reached for it to actually go out and wear and carry in a long time. Now, if there's one bag I think the people I work with are sick of me wearing, it's this. This one has been so clutch. I honestly find it difficult to change out of this bag if I'm going if I'm going uh, out and carrying my laptop and all of my things that I need. Uh, this one is great for travel. Um, it has the uh, cr the cross the long crossbody strap that goes onto the, these hooks here on the side. It's perfect. This is the perfect bag for me. This is the Gucci B Shopper Tote in the medium size. There there are definitely more of the smaller size out there, but I love this size. It's so amazing. I love the black handles. I love the, the gold overlay. It just gives the Gucci monogram just like a little something. I love the metallic on it and I just think this is super different and very so incredibly practical and lightweight. I am still a big bag girl. This is the Givenchy uh, Magnolia Moth Shopper Tote. Uh, this is the same size as a GM Neverfull and this is just another one that is just so singular and special for my collection. I just think that something about this bag just screams me. And you know, there was a point where I was considering getting a Neverfull and I ended up spot uh, I ended up seeing this instead and this is just such a uh, such a better option for me. Uh, if you guys have followed me for a while, then you are probably familiar with this bag. I have to say that the condition has held up excellent excellently over the years. This is a bag from 2014 and I bought it in 2016. Yeah, so I've had this bag for six years, I guess. That's crazy. Is that right? Five, I have five or six years now I've had this bag, and I've definitely gotten my money's worth out of it. 2021 was the year of the small bag for me. This is another one. Uh, this is also from Givenchy. Uh, this is ombre black with white. Uh, this is called the Infinity Bag. It's made from a glazed leather. This was a collection from approximately, I'm gonna say 2018, if I'm not mistaken. I remember uh, when this bag was uh, first launched and when, when the Infinity Collection first launched. I have wanted a piece from it forever. Uh, I was gonna get the black with silver um, just, you know, cause, just cause I didn't know that this existed. And to be very honest, uh, this super like the super like edgy blackout hardware is not so easy for me to incorporate in my wardrobe. Um, you know, with just with my whole like aesthetics and silhouettes and everything. But you know what? I'm gonna try because this bag is fabulous. If you guys know me, then I'm sure you know this bag. Uh, this is the Louis Vuitton Belmont. It's Damier Ben canvas with Nomad leather trim. Uh, the, the, the leather is like sort of like a chocolatey toffee color. Um, it's like really rich and vibrant with like sort of like orangey undertones. Um, I just, I love this bag. I've actually pulled this out uh, a, a little bit more lately. So I have been, uh, this one has been like back in my rotation lately and I've been loving it. Um, I just find it so like luxurious and like understated it's like very different and what's really funny is that whenever on the rare occasions that I do see someone carrying this bag like out in the wild theirs are trashed what sucks about this bag is that to, if you use this shoulder strap and I talked about that in my very first YouTube video um which is what a review of this bag if you use this strap like you're gonna ruin the bag so basically don't <laughs> um it what this is definitely like my first like uh, delving into me carrying a top handle bag. I didn't think that I was this girl, um, and wearing and own, owning this bag, wearing this bag, having it in my wardrobe, and having it be one that I, that I can always manage to pull out um, so regularly made me realize that I am in fact this girl. I sure am. I'm her. Hi. So yeah, this one is super special to me. It was my very first video here on this channel um, was reviewing this bag. Uh, it was the first one that I bought myself and um, it is just some, it was something different that I never thought that I would be able to like carry, I guess. I just didn't know that this was my style and aesthetic until it happened. And as it turns, 
it is. <laughs> Now it's between this one and the Gucci Shopper Tote that are the absolute winners of 2021. These, this is, uh, ended up being one of my very favorite bags. This is the Fendi 3 Baguette and the clasp is cool and even though it's, it's very small, I'm able to carry just enough of what I need in it. Like when I do carry this bag like on a night out or like e even daytime, um, I am probably filling it up to capacity so this just goes to show you like how small of a bag i'm feasibly able to carry uh, i will say though that as much as i love this bag and how obsessed i am with it this leather it will scratch pretty easily it does buff out it does buff out pretty well um but that's just something to consider i have pretty long nails and i just have to i just find myself having to be a little bit more careful than i do with like some of my you know canvas which i'm much more used to carrying um and you know some of my other like more coated leather bags i love this bag 10 out of 10 but uh you know i do sometimes you know give myself it, it does sometimes give me pause uh when i do carry this because of this leather uh, this is from this is from 2013. I purchased it in 2021, and I already had this this little um, Fendi wrappy scarf in my collection uh, before I added it. But I just find that it just complements it so perfectly, and you know makes it so that I have like a like a, either just the um, color detail or an added strap. This one is a vintage Gucci from the 80s. Uh, it has the monogram canvas with the web stripe. It's not like one of the like mainstays in my wardrobe, but I do find it to be very, very practical. Um, it's big enough to fit an iPad, which I which honestly I don't really carry around so much anymore. Um, but I just do find that this is a really easy bag to just throw on and go if I'm you know going out to run errands on a day off or something like that. They made this style for a couple of years in the 80s and into the early 90s, and then they re ended up re-releasing this as a part of the video collection in 20 2017 2018 i'm not sure i'll find out but i definitely love this bag super cool and it has the pocket here in the front for easy carry it's just really practical it's just so practical until recently this was the only chanel bag in my wardrobe uh this is my uh denim shopper the uh, denim shopper toe this one is great for the beach i have to say though as much as i love this bag and as, as much as i find uh that the like the color and the style and the size and everything just goes perfectly with my aesthetic it is getting a, like, a little bit worse for the wear um i think i'm gonna have to like get this cleaned and possibly like re-dye because i am getting like a little bit of like fading or something happening along the top here that I'm not loving. Also the corner wear on it is pretty significant so um, I haven't carried this one in a really really long time but I do love it. It sort of gives me like a, like a upscale and like like sort of understated version on a Deauville. Every time I think to myself that I should get a Deauville I remember that I have this and this is so much better. This is a, a Gucci uh, white vintage bag that I had uh, that we had at my old job for a really, really long time, and I just thought it was so fabulous and, you know, just kind of a no-brainer. It's, like, really simple. Uh, I really love, I really love vintage Gucci. Vintage vintage Gucci is just so my jam, so I just always thought that this was really stunning. And then, but I was lucky enough to f stumble across this on The Real Real um, all of those years later in 2021. It has this really beautiful gold chain. I will say, though, that, like... As much as I idealized this bag in my head and thought it was so perfect, I really think that maybe it was really it's really perfect for someone else. And I do really like the look and style. I think I just think it's just really simple, and I am I totally dig that. But this is tiny. This is really tiny. I don't know where I think I'm going in a bag this small. To be very honest, I've, I think I've carried it once since I purchased it, and. I can't do small bags. <laughs> I will be holding on to it for now, but I don't know that this one is going to be staying in my collection, you know, for un until the end of time. Let's talk birth year bags. This is the Louis Vuitton St. Cloud. Um, as we know, the Louis Vuitton vintage bags have a date stamp on the inside, so you're able to tell uh, what what month and year they were manufactured. Uh, this is a December 1990 Louis Vuitton monogram GM St. Cloud 
gold hardware, some fichetta trim here. You guys may remember that this is a bag that I've removed the strap on. I'll leave that video a uh, link down below because I showed you like sort of how to do it. And I added a monogram strap that I was able to purchase from Saks. So um, that made it just like a little bit better of a crossbody for me. Uh, I, do, I do still have the original Vichetta strap, but you know, I really took that one off and never looked back. I don't miss it. <laughs> uh, this is the only Louis Vuitton monogram item or a monogram bag that I have left in my collection. Uh, this one is super cool because you know, it tells a story. Uh, we are both the same age and I just think that's really cool. If you have someone that is into vintage or into handbags, then I think a birth year bag makes a great gift. And then since we're on the subject, um, 20, December of 2021, I decided to add another St. Cloud into my wardrobe. Um, I really want to get into the, um, the color, the emerald green color that's like super trendy right now. And I found this. Uh, I was looking on eBay and I happened to find this one that is also December 1990 and I absolutely couldn't pass it up. Uh, these are both, these are two of the same bag that I have here. You know, I've, I have such, I've had such great success with this one that I was like, you know what, I might as well just get the other one. And honestly, now that I have it, I feel like I should have tried to go for the smaller one just so I had like a little bit of variance. Uh, this one just came, this one I probably had sitting in my, on my shelf now for about a month or so and I am going to do a video where I clean and repair and make this bag uh, nice and beautiful and shiny again. Well, it is very shiny now because it's epi leather, but uh, we're going to clean that one up in a video to come. Now for my third birth year bag in my collection. <laughs> That's why I'm not so, so married to the St. Cloud in this moment because I already have this great one too. Uh, this is a Fendi shopper tote that is um, also from 1990. Uh, this is the Zuka canvas print with this really beautiful black leather. Um, it has the Fendi Roma emblem right here, but I will say that I typically just carry it on this backside. Um, it's, I found that it's super durable it, it definitely I would say that like one day I may end up getting the lining on the inside replaced but for now I just use a felt organizer on the inside of it and that just works perfectly this has been a great laptop bag and I just find that it's super neutral it has a magnetic snap um, that you know keeps it closed but leaves enough functionality for me to get in in and out of it really easily if you guys remember when I bought this bag the way the way reason I know that it was um, a birth year bag is because it comes with its original tag and I just found that super cool it says the date on it um, probably the date that it came in as well as the original price the original price for this bag in 1990 was $250 nowadays Something like this would run you like 3000 so I think that is nuts. And one thing I love about buying vintage is that you can find some really cool ones out there on the market and they won't break the bank. Um, I wanted to try out uh, a trend, and but I didn't want to spend the, the, the amount of money required it uh, today. So I found uh, this beautiful uh, Louis Vuitton reporter bag in the same green epi. This one is from 1994 and I added this chain that I found from Etsy to sort of give it that like that that look that um, is similar to the Bottega as well as a, the, the current Louis Vuitton uh, cuisine bag and this is something cool. So this is another one that I'm going to have to refurbish a, a little bit, you know, clean up a little bit, but I just find that this is a, a cool look and it sort of like does uh, the look for less on the Bottega and Louis Vuitton cuisine trend with, uh, with this right here but um, this is just a fun little project for me these are not hard to find on eBay right now at all so if you want to try this out I would definitely uh, I'll leave some links down below for you to get, give this a try be prepared to put on your gloves and, and use some elbow <laughs> use some elbow grease because uh, they're not gonna be in perfect pristine condition this one I found for like barely like maybe $250. Another one you guys know I love. This is the Gucci Dionysus in the medium size. Uh, this was the bag that I wa wanted and saved up for most in my entire collection like pretty early on. I bought this in 2016. Um, I'll leave my unboxing link down below but this is just such a special bag to me just because it was one of the like first like this is like the first one that I like pined after for a really long time and um, I'm never like I, I, I'm probably never gonna experience that feeling again um, so that's why this one is super special to me I don't really find I definitely don't carry it as much as I wish I did uh, the suede makes it a little bit limiting especially because it can rain here in Miami it's a really sunny it was really um, a tropical climate so it can rain a 
with almost no notice. I don't carry it so so much and it's a little and the size is a little bit awkward for me to uh, like practically wear on a regular day. So pretty much this is the bag that I pull out when I'm like trying to like do an outfit and those opportunities lately have been few and far between. But I love this one. Uh, this is a this is not going anywhere from my collection, and um, I just think it's going to be cl a classic one that I'm going to hold on to forever. This is another one that's just so easy. It's like a no brainer. This is the Gucci Mini Antigona. I have in the black shiny leather. Uh, this is the box leather with silver hardware. Um, you know. If you know handbags, you know this bag. It was super popular for a while, and I waited until it wasn't like so so like on the like cutting edge of that of like you know hype and popularity to decide that I had fallen in love with it. And here we are, three three plus years later, and this is still one that I reach for probably like I don't know once or twice a week to this day. Uh, the condition on it is still almost perfect. And I just cannot recommend this bag enough. All of the bags in my entire collection, this is the only one that was purchased new. I don't really carry it very often anymore. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I definitely do like the style. Um, it is one that is easy to throw on uh, for a night out and you can add a strap right here, a longer strap here onto, onto these two D rings. But it's a very cool one. Um, I like the aesthetic of it. I haven't worn it in a while, but um, I did think about selling it but then I was, I don't know, I'm still on the fence as to whether or not I'm gonna sell it or not because I do really, really like this style and the leather just feels so luxurious. I love it, but I just don't carry it anymore. But I love it. That's where I am with this bag right now. What's that? Another vintage Gucci? <gasps> This is one of my very favorite, most favorite bags of mine in my entire collection. Uh, this is a vintage alligator one in burgundy. Uh, everything about this bag is just so rich and perfect. I love the size, I love the color, I love the hardware, I love the texture and the shine and all of that. This is such a perfect bag. I cannot sing its praises enough. Um, it has this back pocket here so it's really easy to access um, access my phone and it's just, it's just so great. I can sing its praises forever. You guys know how much I love it and um, this, there is also a strap that um, you can put in here, just like that taupe one that I showed you a second ago. It's just, it's the perfect evening bag. I've tried to like make this a thing to carry during the daytime, but it, it's it's a little bit like too dressy and too special. Uh, it is coated, coated and buffed. So it has all of this nice, beautiful shine on it. I think this bag just screams luxury. Last but not least, uh, this is the newest bag in my collection. This is the one that sp spurned, spawned my little um, entrance onto Ban Island for the time being. Uh, I got this one for Christmas. I'm obsessed. I'm so obsessed, but I, I'm almost too shocked that this is a part of my wardrobe to have even carried it, so I have not carried it yet. <sighs> I can tell you I'm completely obsessed with it, and oh my god, I'm dying. <sighs> Introducing. That is the Chanel medium flap in this really beautiful silver iridescent suede. It has this sort of like texture and shine to it and uh, to the suede that makes it look like, look like it's pixelated kind of or like glittery. I hope that the camera is capturing it properly, but I I'm so, so obsessed. Um, I saw this collection uh, first at work and was like, what is that? And went completely obsessed Gaga eyes. Ever since then, I have been just endlessly Google searching this to death. One came up on Fashion File and I was able to pick this out as my Christmas and birthday present um, for the past holiday season. So this is my this is my first Chanel classic that I have had in my wardrobe. I know that like, so I definitely do feel a little weird like having added this to my collection now that, you know, Chanel has become like what seems to be like so unattainable um, in these past couple of years. And, you know, I still stand by like the pricing being ridiculous. Like, first and foremost with this bag, like I would only go for a medium flap 
or a, like go for a classic flap in like a cool collection or cool color like just like this i think for me like just having a black one is just a little bit too basic you know for my wardrobe and i'm really glad that i was able to find something cool and different that i like yeah this one was selling for about like almost half the price of what the new ones sell for um, it's not in necessarily perfect condition. By the way, this one is a bag from 2012. It's silver suede with gold hardware. I like that it mixes metals. It's really super classic and uh, I haven't I haven't actually worn it yet. I, I haven't even taken the tags off of this yet just because it's just been sitting there on my shelf and I've just been in awe of it. I definitely still stand by like the pricing on these being outrageous and I just feel very fortunate that I was able to find the right one and it came along at the right time. I don't know what else to say other than this is just so amazing and stunning. I just it, literally every time I look at it, it takes my breath away so much that I haven't worn it. <laughs> okay, so that is a wrap for this collection video. I can't believe like how much my collection has progressed over, you know, the last year and a half. I went definitely like I said earlier like I went through like sort of a like big spending spree in the beginning when I first like got into handbags and got into this whole like luxury world and then it went down into a lull for a couple of years and then it went right back up <laughs> post 2020. Everything behind me on, on the shelf uh, is something that I picked up since picked up in 2021 with the well I guess with the possible exception of this one because I think it wasn't delivered until after New Year, whatever. Point is, 2021 was a good year for Catherine's handbag collection. And 2022 is gonna be a lot more cautious. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, how many how many handbags are currently in your wardrobe? And question from earlier, how has your collection changed over the past year and a half, two years? Very curious to hear that. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.